Adenosine is widely used in the termination of supraventricular tachycardia. One of the initial reports of atrial fibrillation induced by adenosine was by Silverman and Associates in 1996. They described five patients who developed AF after adenosine administration. None of these patients had structural heart disease and only one had prior history of AF. Adenosine was given during electrophysiological study in these patients with SVT to block AV conduction to unmask any potential axillary pathway. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. Hence the administration was during sinus rhythm and not during SVT. Four of them developed AV block prior to AF while the remaining patient had accessory pathway conduction. They proposed that the shortening of atrial action potential by the action of adenosine on its receptors in atrial myocytes is the mechanism for induction of AF. They also highlighted the potential risk of AF with fast ventricular rate in case it is precipitated while treating SVT mediated by an accessory pathway. Prior to this report, Belhassen and Associates had reported induction of AF by ATP. Strickberger and colleagues noted 12% incidence of AF when 12 mg adenosine was given through the femoral vein for SVT during an EP study. The mean ventricular response in AF was similar in this study for those with AVNRT and AVRT and was modest. The maximum pre-excited heart rate was 214 per minute. They proposed that shortening of atrial action potential duration is a possible mechanism for induction of AF. In addition, they noted frequent atrial ectopics which would have contributed to precipitation of AF by the long short sequence mechanism. Adenosine induced AF has been reported by Israel and colleagues as well. Lee and associates used optical mapping and immunoblot mapping of atria to evaluate the mechanism of adenosine induced AF in explanted human hearts. They noted higher A1 receptor expression in right atria. G protein coupled inwardly rectifying potassium channels activated by A1 receptors were considered to be involved in maintaining reentrant drivers in lateral part of right atrium. First set of references on adenosine induced AF. Second set of references on adenosine induced AF. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.